These are the clear front sigma lights. The R34 with the lamps inside. Here we have the, the side ones from Nismo as well. This is a Nismo low temp thermostat. And here we have a Nismo. Air filter. This is our exhaust system. It's from Taiki Motor Racing. It has the Jasma regulation. It shouldn't be more than 80. 98 dB. Here we have from HPS from pipe. You can see with perfection of the welding from HPS. Really nice mitt. Really nice. Here we HK is quality. One of the best. This is again the Kakimoto racing. You can see the silencer inside. A very well made exos well done Kakimoto racing. Okay, this is the Nismo stabilizer kit for front and rear is from Spitfire Japan it's the coils for recognition it's for R34 it's actually for RB26 Okay, this is the other two parts from the Nismo engine and transmission mount. This is the right engine mount, I think. This is something that's from Nismo. This is the oil separator. Much bigger than the picture we have. This is from Transgredi. Type racing 
glove off with a recycling adapter. It looks like this, quite big. This is from Trust again, it's a Trust Ready Oil Pan. As everything is ready to be welded. This is from Nismo again. It's one of the most, not one of the most, it's the most, I think, expensive tail lights I've ever seen in my life. But they are really worth it. These are the, the LEDs. You cannot see them right now. The Nismo Estune LED or Zetune, how you can call them. They're gonna look very beautiful when they are installed. Well, after a lot of thought, I've decided to go for something which is nice to drive in the town. That's what the decision was. It's a Super Copa Mix Nismo Twin Plate Competition Model Clutch Kit. It looks stunning, guys. I'm not gonna open it right now. This thing is really heavy. It's 20 kilos, but it should hold really nicely. All the previous parts came from RHD Japan very very soon, maximum was 3 weeks time, it was a very very big order. Now this box came from Powerhouse, Powerhouse Racing from the US, I'm very very disappointed from him, after one month of order they arrived two boxes including a block which is not here right now it's an N1 block the the good thing from Powerhouse Racing it was the prices were really low but the time uh, it was too too long to wait for them and uh, the service it was horrible because he did a couple of mistakes and then some of the stuff were uh, disappeared from FedEx so I'm still waiting for him after two months to see what's going to happen with a claim okay, here we have an N1 water pump some Oh yeah, N1 is the thing. This is an ARP fastener. These are for shapes. We have really nice package. They look good quality. Another one Tommy assemble paste. Here we have the CP pistons for Pushed engine. Yeah. Very nicely made from CP. And 
can see the quality is really nice. These are CNC cuts. These are 87 millimeters. Here we have the HKS EVC6. It looks like all the other EVCs. We have from Redline the water wetter, super coolant. As you can see. This is from Tomei, it's the main stud set. This is from ACL, it should be from the gearbox shaft to the crank. L19. This is from Supertech. This is the one millimeter oversized valve. These are the Supertech valve guides, bronze ones, and the valve seals. And here we have the valves. These are the injector dynamics. We have six injectors 1000 cc each for our engine and the last thing to show you for tonight is the ATI Super Thumb Thumper it's for the RB26 debt and it's for up to 1000 horsepower Let's turn around. It's quite heavy. 